Well, it's good to see you guys again. This is uh, the damage from Dad's XP Turbo. You can see on the last ride. If you guys watched it. I hope you guys watched it. So he just had a little simple gear failure. Uh, whatever. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we got new bearing kit, seals, new bearings, shafts, all that for the Orange XP Turbo. Have it together here pretty soon. We're gonna do a little upgrade to the Dad's No Fox 900. Ooh, brand new diff. So we're gonna swap in a XP 1000 differential in that, and then I still got quite a bit of spare parts for the stock 900 diff. So I'll take Dad's spare parts, and I'll use them up and the spare parts that I have, and then uh, by that time we'll see how this uh, 1000 diff is in the 900. If it holds up good, then I'll probably swap mine over when the time comes. So I'll put that on this video. I don't see a lot of videos of the swaps. Um, so. Just a little update for you guys. Well, I got the turbo transmission all together. Really simple to work on. They're razor transmissions or just gears and bearings. And yeah, don't be afraid to tear one apart. They're really simple. So anyway, here's Dad's 900. It's had a hard life. Um, it was either buy new cases or buy a new diff. And if you're going to do that, you might as well go to a, a 1000 swap. So. Well, couldn't find much on YouTube, so I'm gonna throw this video together. Uh, here's a little comparison. It's a lot bigger, um, it's a lot heavier, so uh, I think it should hold up fairly well. So I'm gonna start putting this in, and I will uh, post the information and anything I think that you guys might want to know if you're interested in doing this swap. So far, all I've had to do is drill a few new mounting holes, or enlarge, whichever. Um, this is a piece of three quarter inch steel. Um, basically, drilled two holes, so this will fit right here. And this is basically just a, a spacer, is all that is. So I'm gonna see how this fits and check all my clearance and see if uh, may want to grind that down just a bit maybe we'll see all right at this point we got our diff mounted in everything's clearing everything is looking good I did use the three quarter inch steel plate for the spacer um, put in some longer bolts in the front and I'll show you the bottom bear with me one second here okay so the original Differential uses these two holes and these two holes. Uh, so this one reamed to the hole, moved it back some. On the other one, the original hole is right here where my finger is, and it is now here. So no big deal there. So I had a little bit of clearance issues. Um, so I went ahead. I know a lot of people use the 5 8 spacer, but. If I would have went with the 5.8, uh, it would have been super close right here at the drain plug. So I, I cut a little bit more of this out for some clearance, and I went with the three quarter. And in my opinion, uh, it works great. So I feel like three quarter plates a lot more common than 5.8. Like it is around here anyway. On the front, instead of using these two bolt holes, now it uses these two. Um, the holes were already there. I just had to make them bigger. So. These go through here and through the steel, three quarter steel plate and then into the differential. And they are uh, a little bit longer, obviously, than the stock ones. That's some bare metal, so I sprayed it down with some paint, keep it from rusting. I'm gonna go start working on uh, the winch mount, see what I gotta do to get it to work. All right, I should probably patent this, but this channel and what I do is not about money. And like some other people, I'm not going to tell you, oh, buy, these, buy parts from here so I can you know, support what I do. I support what I do. It's my hobby. But I'd like to show you guys this. A lot of people have trouble with the roll pin. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Anybody that tries to drive a roll pin in or out with a center punch, you're going to have a bad day. That doesn't work. I don't know if you know this or not, but they actually make roll pin punches. They have a, a nice little dot. And that's what keeps it centered 
I mean, they're just, if you're going to work with roll punches, you need this. Now, the next problem is, there's pretty much not a, a punch in the world that's easy to get that you can hold up here to this roll pin and smack with a hammer. Now, bear with me here. Let me grab my, this is what I got. Obviously, nothing fancy. You strictly utilitarian, some shit that was laying on the floor. So I took this round tube, cut a piece off, about two and a half inches, welded this little uh, piece of flat steel in there, and welded the other piece back on. Okay, and what that allows you to do is you can take a roll pin punch and hold it in there. Okay, see there? That's going to hold that. You don't have to be holding that thing with some pliers and trying to smack it and, you know, busting up your hands and your knuckles, okay? So check this out. This is what we got here, okay? Now, watch this. Great idea. So, now, you're on a roll pin and you got this bar way out here and you can, you can smack it like you, like you, like you, you can smack this thing as hard as you need to. And you're not going to be out of control. You're not going to be busting open your hands, your knuckles. You're not going to smash your finger. You're not going to have no frustration. This is going to save you some time and trouble. I hope this helps you. I really do. Don't forget. Appreciate everybody that watches. Uh, I do this strictly for fun. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, if you guys would like to subscribe, I would appreciate that. If you leave a comment or hit that like button. It helps my videos show up in the search algorithms, algorithms, whatever you, however you say it, to more people. So, uh, if you could just do that for me, I would dearly appreciate it. Alright, so, three things I think about first come to mind when you say swap. One, does it fit? Two, use the same axle. And three, the electrical. So... Yes, it fits. Those are the same axles that was in it before. So the axles are the same. And the electrical, it is the same. So we are up and running there. The only thing I got left is to figure out the winch. So I'm gonna uh, see what I gotta do to get some clearance on that and make that fit. Winch is super important. Um, I, yeah, very, very useful tool to have. Okay, so I got the winch in and the mount, and it does fit in there, but you can see since this differential is so much taller, the vent is hitting the winch mount and this tab. So I don't believe I can gain enough by cutting this center out because I'd have to cut so much of it out, there wouldn't hardly be anything left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tab off on the front and I'm going to build a new one. I'm just going to make it a little bit taller, I believe. I think that would uh, give me the clearance that I need and not completely weaken the winch mount. So I'm going to try that and see how that goes. Alright, so this is what I come up with for the winch mount. Oh, not so pretty. But, what I've done is I cut the winch mount off right here from where it, what it was. And then this is the original. So I bolted this on, put the winch back in there, and then stuck a block of wood underneath where it was hitting the amount of clearance that I wanted to hold this up. And then I measured, cut and fit this, and tack welded it together. Pulled it out, welded it up, sprayed a little paint on it so it don't get all rusty, obviously. And put the sticker back in, and we should be good to go now. Now, if you don't have a winch, you won't have to do this, obviously. Or if you have a winch, it's on the bumper. So, something that a lot of people don't consider when uh, you, you buy accessories like a bumper. You know, you want the winch out there, or you want it over the front diff, or, you know. There was a lot more to consider. So, it may be hard to see. and then bring my bag, camera stuff, and lights and whatnot. But, this is the final, final outcome. There she is. You can see her up in there. Get around there. There she is. Got our winch all mounted up in there. It's tight, but you know, if your winch is like this and you do 
the setup that I have. Just make sure that uh, wherever your fair lead is, just check wherever your fair lead is mounted. Make sure that uh, your synthetic rope or cable doesn't drag against your mount. So make sure that's nice and smooth and isn't going to cause any cuts or abrasion. But that's pretty much it. We'll see how long this holds up. See if it's much better than the 900 stock differential.